हेलो मॉमस एंड डैडीज वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल माय करियर मदरहुड आई एम प्रतीक्षा एंड टुडे आई एम हियर विथ अ न्यू वीडियो फॉर यू व्हिच इज अ वीडियो फॉर अ वेरी हेल्दी रेसिपी एंड व्हाट इट इज इट इज द ड्राई फ्रूट पाउडर रेसिपी फॉर द किड्स सो एज यू ऑल नो आई एम अ न्यू यूट्यूबर एंड आई हैव टेकन दिस इनिशिएटिव टू स्टार्ट द चैनल एंड हेल्प द पेरेंट्स एंड एक्सपेक्टिंग मदर्स एज मच एज पॉसिबल सो वुड लाइक योर सपोर्ट सो काइंडली मोटिवेट मी बाय Uh, liking my channel sharing with your friends and families and subscribing please if you like my video do share with your friends and families and hit the like button in case you have any doubts you can uh, just give the comments on the below so uh, let's uh, get started with the recipe so in this video i am going to share with you a dry fruit powder recipe which is a very very healthy recipe as we all know as a parents we are very much concerned about the nutritional values of our kids and we also know that by 6 months the baby is only on the breast milk or on the formula milk as suggested by our doctors or pediatricians but after 6 months when it uh, the time comes to start the solid for our babies we generally get concerned that what to give to the baby what not to give so uh, after 6 months we generally give one or two meal to our baby not more than that we sometimes give dalia or different kind of porridge khichdi uh, rice and dal cereals different type of things so uh, slowly and steadily we keep on increasing the meals of our babies but this uh, recipe is basically um, for kids who are above 8 months dry fruit are bit heavy and uh, Once the baby uh, uh, turns eight months old, we start giving this dry fruit powder to our baby. This is very very good recipe. It helps in number one immunity boosting the of the baby. Second, it helps in increasing the healthy weight gain. Not it does not lead to obesity or anything bad for the health of the baby. Third, in, increase the brain of the baby. It increases the constitution power of the baby, brain sharpness, everything. That is the best thing I have ever seen, and this is one of my favorite recipe. I always give to my daughter. She is nineteen months old now, and very sweet. Of course, every child is very sweet for their parents. So, uh, without wasting much time, let's get started with the video. So here I have taken uh, cashew nuts, almonds. pistachio walnut half nutmeg and half nutmeg it was already used and after that 20 to 25 strands of around saffron now what we will do we will take a pan and start roasting our uh, dry fruits one by one we are not going to roast everything together because it depends upon dry fruit to dry fruit how much time they will take to roast so individually we are going to roast all the dry fruits first time roasting here a uh, uh, cashew nuts just roast them roast them into low to medium flame not on a high flame because they may get burnt we are going to roast them until they change their color to brown see uh, here the color is changing see here uh, they have changed more color and now they are completely roasted they have completely changed their color in this way we will see that all the moisture inside the dry fruit are uh, taken out released now we are going to roast our almonds same way we are going to roast them into low to medium flame <coughs> until they change their color here i have taken a quality of almonds which is known as mamra these are much better than the normal quality of almonds and they are very very beneficial for our kids though they are a little expensive but i will uh, suggest you to go for them mamra badam we say then mamra almonds see they have also changed their color and are roasted now we will take out in a plate all the dry fruit so that they cool down now we will take our third thing that is a uh, walnut roast them the same way in low to medium flame until they change their color uh, you will see here that i have uh, broken some pieces so that the if there is any moisture they get also released and the walnuts are roasted nicely 
so here they are also done they have changed their color and we will take them out again in our plate so that they also cool down you can take out all the things in the same plate there is no problem at all now pistachio we will just roast them also nicely there is no uh, different way in roasting the dry fruits you just need to roast them on a dry pan no need to add any oil or ghee <coughs> so here they are also almost done they have also changed their colors so you can see it here here i am seeing few of them are burnt let it be i will take out these things and uh, rest i will keep aside we will take out again in our plate and let them to cool down nicely before we grind them so our uh, grinder is ready now you will see how i am grinding this seen how i have uh, just switch on and switch off the switch of the grinder because we are not going to continuously switch on the button because that may uh, what what will happen that the oil of the dry fruit will just uh, release all the moisture whichever is left and will spoil all the dry fruit powder so just keep in mind that we are not going to grind them uh, continuously just switch on and switch off here i am uh, taking the uh, just grinding the nutmeg in the second lot of the dry fruit because i am just grinding them in two lots half in one lot and another half in another lot and then i will mix them all together so i am just grinding the uh, nutmeg powder in the next lot and i will also add the saffron in this only and again i will grind them in the same way switch on and switch off the button don't continuously grind them because the oil in the dry fruit will be released and will spoil all the dry fruit powder so this is our dry fruit powder ready i am mixing both the lot nicely and this uh, dry fruit powder is enough to uh, do my work for one month i will just store it in a, a jar glass glass jar in the refrigerator or in case it's uh, cold outside in your uh, state you can keep it aside also so just see if your baby is 8 9 10 months old around you just give half spoon tablespoon of dry fruit powder or in case the baby is more than 2 years you can give one uh, complete spoon so uh, you all have seen how i have prepared this uh, dry fruit powder so the basic thing is that uh, how now how will you give this powder to your 8 months baby 8 month plus baby you can mix it with any cereal salva or porridge you are making you can give in, uh, it in that now one more tip of the recipe is that you have seen how i have uh, used the mixer grinder how i have used the switch of the mixer pan you i have simultaneously switched on and switch off the button the reason behind is that if we continuously switch on uh, continuously grind the powder the oil of the dry fruit will be released and it will be com it will completely spoil the dry fruit powder which will be of no use and we have to just throw it in our dustbin so just keep it in mind that you have to switch on and switch off the grinder or 5 to 2 seconds you have to you have to switch on for 5 seconds or 2 seconds and switch off and again we have to do this continuously So this was my recipe I hope you liked it so do give it your to your babies it will be definitely very healthy and make your baby active so goodbye have a healthy and active baby thank you so much so uh, you all have seen how i have prepared this uh, dry fruit powder so the basic thing is that uh, how now how will you give this powder to your 8 months baby 8 month plus baby you can mix it with any cereal salva or porridge you are making you can give in, uh, it in that now one more tip of the recipe is that you have seen how i have uh, used the mixer grinder how i have used the switch of the mixer pan you i have simultaneously switched on and switch off the button 
the reason behind is that if we continuously switch on, uh, continuously grind the powder, the oil of the dry fruit will be released and it will be com it will completely spoil the dry fruit powder, which will be of no use, and we have to just throw it in our dustbin. So just keep it in mind that you have to switch on and switch off the grinder or five to two seconds. You have, you have to switch on for five seconds or two seconds and switch off and again we have to do this continuously one more thing i would like to share is that uh, how we uh, you will sh store this dry fruit powder you can store it in a dark place outside or you can it's the best thing is that you can store it in your refrigerator there is no harm I, the, the the quantity which i have made in this video it will uh, definitely get my job done for uh, around one month so I will store it in my refrigerator or in a cool dark place outside in the uh, anywhere in my kitchen so just keep in mind to store it like that or in a jar glass in an airtight glass jar so this was my recipe I hope you liked it so do give it your to your babies it will be definitely very healthy and make your baby active so goodbye have a healthy and active day